It's just my reviews. I mean, hey. I digress. <laughs> I'm Whitney. It's exciting. What up, what up, you guys? And welcome to Reviews with Whitney D. I am she. Let's get into this, shall we? Okay, so last night um, did not go without a hitch um, on Monday with Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Reunion Part 1, okay? So, um, um, I really don't want to give a breakdown per each person because they really are getting into it. It's not the second, you know, really they try to build it up. They give you a little bit and then they leave you on the edge of your seat. One in particular, um, segment that I want to talk about, cause you guys know you should be aware that I've been talking about the whole April and Lil Fizz situation, right? I say situation because I really don't think that it's even a situation. I don't think it's a real relationship. I think it's just something that, you know what I'm saying, just kind of what's orchestrated, if you will, okay? Because if you know this in real time, real life, the chain of events that's been transpiring since their whole shabacle, okay? It was reported over the weekend that April uh, cheated on Little Fizz. Um, some footage got released and everything, and if you want to check that footage out, Go to um, Storm and Roll, and that's who um, exclusively brought the news. Um, but nonetheless, in regards to the reunion, you know, this has been taped months back, you know, but I just wanted to point out a few things. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get into what I reviewed, and then I'm going to get in my commentary. Okay, so the scene. Let me set it for you if you were not, if you were not able to watch it, okay? So... April Fizz, they're sitting by each other there, and the cast goes wild. Meaning the cast are all calling them out, especially um, the one that spit it on, um, not actually not spit it, but threw her drink on Kim. Um, she was her friend or whatever. I can't remember her name, but now she's big time friends with Zill or Zell, right? And um, they called her out on her situation with Fizz. And it got real heated, so much so that Zell said, you better calm yourself down or I'm going to whoop little Fizz because basically I'm not going to whoop you and I can't whoop you because you're a female, but I will whoop your dude, right? They light skin. She could have got another. You, you didn't have to do Fizz. Why are y'all so pressed? My whole thing is you sit, you you throwing all this dirt on yes. this man. I didn't throw not, any dirt on the man. You would think okay. she knew Omar. Mom, I know you, you and I know you're a liar you and know. you lied on you're TV. Lying. Bitch, he like, okay. you a bitch, you a bitch, you a hoe ass 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 bitch, let's get out of here, watch your mouth before I beat up Fizz, so you watch your fucking mouth before I beat up Fizz, period, for what, period, you're right, there's too many you'll get him up, then y'all have to go home and cry, y'all, Fizz sat there, didn't say Nathan, didn't say nothing, y'all. And then rebuttal, didn't say, what's up, my... Nothing. He just was like, letting his girl go back and forth with this dude, right? And that just really stood out to me because I was just like... And so, it was just... April was just... Nah, nah, nah. She was just going... I was just really defending. And my thing is, y'all, when it's not that serious or when it's not, you know, nothing that... um it's wrong with the situation. You don't have to sit there and defend it as much. You know what I'm saying? It's God, it's not an author of confusion. You know, everybody's confused on their stage and everybody made a valid point, you know. And um even um Jay Boog, y'all came out with something and in regards to him coming out with his information, that's whenever um April uh, tried to put in there the information in regards to what everybody is aware of that Jay Book supposedly had relations with Omarion's mom, right? And so he was like, um, you don't want to go there with me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, or what have you. And she was just like, she just put it out there. She was like, you know, it's just with some other speculations. That's when I knew <laughs> was real. What's up is it's unfortunate that you with his brother before you with him. You get what I'm saying? It's not no, 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 no. Okay, my brother. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Ok
Member. I do. Group member. It's group member. I'll own the table. It's group member. I'm not Open up the that. box then, baby. Trust me. I ain't throwing a you I hate when people do that. I hate when they try to deflect. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you'll call somebody out and be like, and they, we do this all all 2019 i hope we don't do this in 2020 i hope we hold ourselves accountable in 2020 but you get on somebody else, say for instance about their sin right like you try to call out homosexuality or they'll be like well what about the adulterer you know over there y'all all sinning like where y'all get off thinking that <laughs> one sin is greater than the next or what have you know i'm calling you out just as well as i'm calling myself out or anybody else out but the thing is is that we try to deflect we try to you know what i'm saying uh hold other people accountable but what we're focusing on you just like the whole r kelly situation well what about uh, you know he he messed around with um Aaliyah at 14. But what about the grown woman? No, but we're we going to focus on this right now. We're focusing on this right now. Stop deflecting. And it was a lot of deflecting on, on April and Fizz and part on last night. More so April because April just was feeling the heat because they were, they. I mean, ha, you can't run now. You can't post. You can't be all uh, thumb thugging. You know what I'm saying? You are right here in front of people that's holding you accountable for what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And so um, Jay Boog was like, you know, I don't doubt the fact that they got something going on, but you know, you was so happy to be with his brother first, you know, and Fizzing like that. Fizz was just like, bruh, like, don't say brother like we had a relationship. And the thing is, like, I've said this in past um, videos, it doesn't matter if you guys weren't close. You had a business relationship with him, bro. Like, that's stupid. All the clients that I have and stuff like that. And then I look up and be with one of their husbands or something like that. Like, really, sis? Like, really, that's how we doing it? Like, you weren't, like, you weren't aware. And the thing is, said, it's not necessarily like a code or whatever. It's the fact of the matter that you you were brought, this was brought to your attention that I was with this individual at one point in a time. And more so, I got kids by this person. So it's not like, um, you know, we had a relationship or whatever the case may be. And then we went on about a business and then you picked him up. No, bro. Like, I have relations with this individual because she is the mother of my children. You know what I'm saying? And when that comes in place a factor, you got to be considerate of that situation. I don't understand why they act as if they oblivious to the fact the matter of what they're doing. And I think they do know what they're doing. It was a lot of uncomfortable looks amongst each other, kind of like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, dang, you know. Um, you could see that they were no longer holding hands or one snuggled up with each other. They kind of had a space between each other. And bring it back to, um, to um, real time. Looking on Instagrams, and y'all know this is a new wave of, of day and age. It's just like when you change your status on Facebook, people are like, ooh. Well, Little Fizz in April, more so April is no longer following Little Fizz. And I don't know if nobody noticed that, but if you're in a relationship and you with dude or you with somebody, wouldn't you be following them? Hmm. But Fizz is following her, but she's not following him. And she has not posted anything here recently in regards to them, too. She did post, however, a picture of her at the reunion, but she cut him off. Hmm. And I was like, but that's your dude, so it really shouldn't matter, right, if he's in the picture. Although you want to say maybe she was trying to showcase the outfit, but wouldn't you be standing up? No. You were not trying to showcase the outfit. You didn't even say she didn't have a caption, you guys. She just did the picture and cut him out. I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that. Because I just thought that was kind of like, hmm, Fizz has not posted since some some weeks back. I want to say a month. I got to check and see. But I'll show you here his last post. J-Boog and Lil Fizz are not following each other. Um, and I'm just like, whoa. You know, and this was the most recent post that J-Boog had posted. You know what I'm saying? On his page about IG, IG, IG. You know, and I'm just like, whoa, you know, okay. So I don't know, you guys, that's kind of, you know, my little snippet in regards to Little Fizz and April's little shabacle on the reunion part one on last night. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. In lieu of everything that's going on in real time with them, what do you think is was, is going on in the present day and on their IGs and this and that and third? Although we know that the reunion was recorded months back, okay? Tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Oh, oh, oh. P P S. So Moniz runs off the stage or whatever, and um, I just kind of noticed that people was kind of talking about that, and they didn't get it. I got it. 
here we go again with little fizz putting her and painting her out there to be a bad mother you know what i'm saying she already knows she needs help or whatever in the case may be and i think she's just tired and over the fact that him putting her out there to be bad and here you go april not giving um they not giving her the opportunity to be represented in a good light you know what i'm saying and maybe the, the case is is that yes true enough she may just be that bad mom but god give her opportunity to be showcased in another light speak things to be not as though they were you know what i'm saying but i don't know that's neither here nor there tell me what you think down in the comments below why are you there please take the time to like share and subscribe if you are already a subscriber thank you so very much um and do not forget to share this video sharing is absolutely caring and thank you for joining the witnesses and either way do not forget to click your notification bell so you'll know every time I upload. Thank you so very much. This has been Reviews with Whitney D. And I am she signing off. Deuces. Signing off. Deuces.